as requested. I'm just going to run through a couple of quick ab exercises. A lot of these are for closed core positions, super, super useful for um, handstands, anything to basically tuck the ribs in and learn to tuck the hips under this way to find our handstand. Often what happens in handstands is we find an arch in the spine and we tend to lose a lot of our strength. So it's a lot to teach ribs to tuck in and hips to tuck under. So, coming to have a lie down on your back. I'm gonna start nice and easy. You have options here. If you have a block, feel free to use a block in between the knees. You can also squeeze in with the knees. Feet nice and close to the hips, hands on the thighs. Fingers just touch the top of the knees and come down. Two, three, four, Head comes down, legs raise up to the sky. So legs 90 degrees. Again, you can keep the block in between your knees if you like. Otherwise, legs together. Arms reach up 20 times. Fingers touch the big toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20. Head comes down, shoulders come down. Relax the hands down by the hips. So you're just gonna float the right foot off the ground, keep the left leg up. So from here, we lift the hips off the ground, keep the head and the shoulders down. Just lifting that left leg, lift the hips off the ground for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Switch legs. Right leg up, left leg hops off the ground. Lifting for one, hips come up. Two, breath down with the hands. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 40, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Bend both knees into the chest. Take a breath. Nice. Arms reach up to the sky. So lift the shoulders and the head off the ground. And send the legs away from you. Focus on the lower back staying flat on the ground. So if you lower the feet here in the lower back lift, keep the feet high. If you're comfortable, lower back stays flat, lower the feet. If this is easy, hands come up by the ears. Holding for four, three, two. Head comes down, release the feet. And push the hips up to the sky. Just taking a break here. Hands link the hands behind the back, pull the shoulder blades together. And take a few breaths. Just dropping the hips down. Fit the feet the width of the mat and just dropping the knees from side to side. So just ease out the hips a little bit. So from here, we're gonna bring the right ankle above the left knee. Right hand down by the side of the body, left hand to the left. Just 10 times, left elbow to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Switching, right foot down, left ankle up, left hand out on the side of the body, right hand to the right side of the head. One. Coming down, 
So from here, we're going to extend the legs away from us, interlink the hands behind the head. Taking a breath in. As we exhale, we bring the elbows to the knees, and then we extend the legs, tap the toes to the ground, and then knees to elbows again. Two, three, four, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Extend the legs, keep the feet pointing up, lower back is flat, arms face. Holding for four, three, two, palms face down, crossing the ankles sideways. Five, four, three, two, come back to center. Palms reach up, press the lower back into the ground. Three, two, and one. Lie down, hug the knees into the chest. Having a roll onto your front. Stepping back. So, taking a plank position, elbows roughly under the shoulders, feet come down. This is nice and easy. Walking the feet to the corner of the mat. Lifting the chest, walking the hands out the corner of the mat. So tuck the abs under, shoulders forwards. Maybe you come up to the left fingertips, left hand reaches up. And then you switch, right fingertips, right hand reaches up. Release, left fingertips, right foot reaches behind you. Maybe use one finger, maybe you reach forwards, and switch. Same again, right fingertips, left foot reaches up, lift the chest forwards, squeeze the glutes. Maybe one finger, maybe reach, three, two, hands come down, walk the feet in, knees down, forearms come down, bring the hips down to the ground, and stretch the abdomen, lift the chest. So from here, just pulling the elbows back, roll the shoulder blades down the back, and stretch the front of the body. And then bring the hands under the shoulders. Easy. So, that was very short. If you want a little bit longer, just rewind. We do it another one time, maybe two times. As I said, a lot of this is to work on closed core position tucking the abs under, strengthening the lower back so that when we come into handstand, we don't drop into extension through the lumbar spine. Thanks.